Muli Buanji, Muli Buanji, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I will be teaching you how to make very nice tasty crackers. Watch this video up to the end so you don't miss out on any single detail. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any notifications and give this video a like. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. Please give my video a like and leave a comment if you have any questions or any contributions. So these are the ingredients that we'll need. Half a tablespoon of baking powder. Half a tablespoon of chicken spice. If you don't have chicken spice, you can still use barbecue spice. You also need one teaspoon of black pepper. Remember, you need to be very careful of the amount of black pepper that you add to your mixture. And half a tablespoon of salt. One third cup of vegetable oil or cooking oil. And two cups of all-purpose flour. You can use all-purpose flour, bread flour, household flour, cake flour, it's still okay. So add two cups of all-purpose flour into a bowl. We'll add half a tablespoon of chicken spice. one teaspoon of black pepper remember you need to be careful of the amount of black pepper that you add because black pepper is really strong we'll add half a tablespoon of salt and half a tablespoon of baking powder and now what we're going to do is mix up our dry ingredients first Remember, if you don't have chicken spice, you can use barbecue spice. And you need to, be sh to make sure that the amount of black pepper that you're adding is not too much because black pepper is really strong. Also, keep note on the salt. Don't add too much salt. Just add just enough. Half a tablespoon is enough for this mixture. So we'll add one third of vegetable oil or cooking oil into the bowl. And we'll give it a nice mix. You need to mix this really, really nicely. And make sure the oil has fused into the flour. You can see what's happening. As you're mixing, the oil is really fusing into the flour. Make sure you squeeze the flour with your hands and knead it really really nicely See the, see the outcome of the texture and now we'll add half a cup of water this is just normal regular room temperature water or tap water and we'll mix our dough and remember as you're mixing your dough you can sprinkle a bit of flour at a time so that the dough doesn't stick to your hands and we'll add the other half cup of water and continue mixing Remember always to add, sprinkle a little bit of flour so that the dough doesn't stick to your hands and to the bowl. You find even that as you are mixing, your hands will be coming out really, really clean. You can see the dough is now ready. Your dough shouldn't be too hard. Your dough shouldn't be too soft. It should be in between. And this is what we'll use for cutting our dough into small stripes. Rolling board, rolling pin, and flour and your dough. So what we'll do is get some flour, sprinkle on our rolling board so that the dough does not stick to the rolling board. 
So what we're going to do now is get a small piece of the dough about twice the size, about the size of, the equivalent size of two eggs, I may say. And then we'll just mold it up. Sprinkle some flour. Don't forget to always sprinkle flour on your base. Roll your dough one direction. Switch the opposite side, roll it. So what you're doing here is expanding your dough, making it bigger and wider. Once you do that, you are now going to cut your dough into a rectangular shape. And once you do that, you're now, after cutting it into a re rectangular shape, you're going to cut them into small little stripes. So these are the stripes that we are cutting here. If you want, you can use a ruler just to measure so they're all the same size. Voila, bon appetit. So I'm done with cutting them all. You can see they're almost all the same sizes here. Remember, you need to make sure your dough is not too hard. Your dough is also not too soft. So this is the final product here. You can see the stripes there. Almost all of them are the same. So what you do is get your pan and deep fry these. So you put your pan, add oil and make sure your oil is hot enough. And then you add them one at a time and fry them for about five, seven, eight minutes or until they're golden brown. <coughs> Remember, this is cooking oil, so you really need to be careful when adding your strips into the oil. You see, after some five minutes. <coughs> After six minutes, after nine minutes, you can see now the color has changed to golden brown. This is a sign that they are ready to be chewed, <laughs> ready to be eaten. If you're enjoying this video, please give this video a like if you have not already and please subscribe. So this is how they look, golden brown. I wish you could smell these, they smell really, really nice. So this is the final product, very nice, very crunchy crackers, very easy to make, especially if you want to start your own business you can definitely do that thank you so much for watching if you are new to my youtube channel please subscribe it's just all about pressing the subscribe button when you press the subscribe button you press that little bell again then you see the notification bars will come down there then you just select all notifications so that you don't miss out on anything and please don't forget to like the video if you have not liked it already. Thank you so much for watching Nato Telamwe Wantu Pakwa Leisa. Leisa Ami Paleni. Don't forget to like my video. I will not stop talking about liking my video. Share my video on your Facebook, on your on, on your WhatsApp statuses. Share the links to your family and friends. Let everyone know about what's happening here. If you support me, I'll support me. You, you, you are the people that are motivating me to make all these videos and teaching you all these new skills. Um, this is me when I was making samosas at a client's place. She, she asked me to, to make about 200 and I was really exhausted that day, but I really loved the company, really enjoyed my time there. And I don't know why I'm talking. I just, I just want this video equal 10 minutes. So that when I get monetized one day, I can actually make a good enough money so <laughs> na to tela sana um for the, for my instagram facebook links are there in the description of the video the recipes are in the description of the video those who want to give me a tip or donate a something uh, my mobile money numbers are in the description as well you can just send anything it can be a five kwacha one dollar any amount 
really help me buy ingredients for me to continue what I'm doing. Thank you so much. God bless you, Nato Tela Sana.